you both seem to believe that the universe came from nothing, but you disagree substantially on whether or not nothing is ever really nothing. Please explain. I don't know if the universe came from nothing or began, okay? What I can show is that everything we know about science is consistent with a universe full of matter, stars, life, human beings, aliens, everything we see where space and time and laws when none of that existed before. Now, to me, what you can argue, in fact, you can, be a, you can do your PhD thesis on whether that's nothing, but I don't really give a damn. The point is, the miracle that it seems to me that religion is supposed to try and explain is how this incredible universe of 100 billion galaxies, each containing 100 billion stars, how it could come, how it could arise if they weren't there in the first place. That seems to violate everything we know logically and everything we think we might know about the laws of physics. What we've learned is, it's not true. It can all come from no space. It can all, none of it needed to have existed. And whether that's absolute nothingness is something I really don't care about. Yeah. When you say that you don't care about it, that's just an autobiographical comment about your personal psychological state. Fine, there are it's others my own. who do care <laughs> deeply about it. It's not a, uh, it, and including, it, it, I think, hundreds of people who will be coming to the Sydney event to talk about this very topic. Why is there something rather than nothing? But it's just nothing? a definition. It's a semantic definition. I describe an initial state. I don't care what you call it. That's semantics. Okay. The physics tells me. The physical question is, did those things exist? Did space, did time exist? And by the way, as I say, in fact, one of the many, you heard this during it, this was a William Craig bullshit meter. I hit it every time. He talked, about, he talked about science and got it wrong. The point is, we don't have any evidence, absolutely, that the universe began. Even Alex Vilenkin in that paper said it began, probably. The point is, there are the, 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 the very papers that, that, he's talk, that, that William Craig's talked about, which I'm sure you don't understand because you don't understand general relativity, in fact, are based on general relativity, which we know breaks down as a quantum theory. And in fact, those presuppositions that there must be a singularity or a beginning, there are many theories like loop quantum gravity, some areas of string theory, uh, and the ekperiodic universe that in fact produce an eternal universe that contracts and expands forever and has been around forever. That is consistent with the known laws. We don't know the answer and it, we're excited because we don't know the answer because we've got something to learn. We didn't know the answer to the question before we asked it like Dr. Craig did. I really appreciated what you said in your opening speech when you said you have no respect for distortion and misrepresentation. Yeah, because so I, I don't call think me on it. anyone has misrepresented the notion of creation from nothing more than you have. In every case, you, you, and we'll you talk give about me an this example. I'd like to say we'll that, but I quoted Sydney. you. In you every, give me an example. In, in every case, you are talking about a physical system changing from one state to another. You are not talking about uh, nothing in the sense that not anything. Now. In, in the case of the models I you, define you, very you carefully what I talk about. The bord guth vilenkin theorem doesn't even presume the, the gravitational equations of general relativity. It is it, it, independent it, it's, of them. And so it will... Let, let, you know, it, at the next talk, we'll, we'll discuss the physics of the next paper, okay? We'll discuss the physics of, of say, loop quantum gravity, which yeah, has a bound solution. I'd be ha I, I, actually... Or maybe the ekperiodic universe. If you will look, we'll discuss the statements that, in fact, say that I'm this theorem breaks it. down. I'm ready to do right. it. If you will look at the, author that I co or the article I co-authored with James Sinclair, who I is did. a physicist, in the Blackwell Companion for Natural Theology, those very theories that you talk about, pre-Big Bang cosmology, loop quantum gravity, those are all discussed in that article. And Vilenkin discusses them too, and they, they are not successful models of a past eternal universe. How do they, you know? They won't work. How do you know that? Because of the scientific articles that have been published on them, for example. What, what uh, about the scientific for, for, articles that have been published, in fact, that are, there, there are meetings on that talk about an eternal bounce universe? You think all those scientists uh, just 
happen to like it, and they're just, they, go to, they go to work and work on this because they have some inner belief that the universe is eternal, and they're actually, they don't mind that it's inconsistent mathematically, that's nonsense. No, they're, they're working on trying to find a model like that, but so far it hasn't been done. We just don't know the answer, and I wish you'd just understand that that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Not knowing the answer means there's something left to learn. <laughs> Certainty in the absence of, of, yes, of, but you, of you evidence deny is in fact the source of much of the problems in when, the world. When that somebody work. like Alex Vilenkin, who is one of the premier cosmologists of our friend. day, says all the evidence we have says that the universe has a beginning, that ought to make us pause and take that seriously. Now, that's not to say it's certain, but it is to say that it's the consistent evidence with our universe having a beginning. If scale. you ask me, if, if you ask me, what would I bet? I bet our universe had a beginning. You bet what? I bet our universe had a beginning, but I'm not certain of it. Well, and I know that the physics. Hold on. That is my, that is my, based on what, uh, the, the physics that I know, I'd say it's a more likely possibility. Yeah, right. But it doesn't say the universe had a beginning. It says it's likely. That is a fundamental oh, difference that you Dr. don't understand. Krause, please, please, any <laughs> statement you make can be qualified with the pre prefix probably. Because qualifications are what science is all about. We qualify our uncertainty. That's, that's that silly. That is what makes science that's so silly. good. Okay. There's okay. no scientific article that contains the word probably in front of every sentence. I have a, uh, I, I have a question here. Scott Stevens, are you sorry or are you relieved that you're not moderating the next debate? Well, <laughs> <laughs>